Now we just finished obtaining Rob Nen Signature Series 95 overall, and you know how the saying goes, if you can pitch on all-star difficulty, then you can pitch anywhere. That's literally how the saying goes. Now, we're playing the events, we're going to get some pretty much awesome gameplay with the events. Let me show you the lineup I'm rocking with. So, I have, I, have, I have Rich Gossage in there, Rob Nen, Rob Dibble, Raleigh Fingers, Billy Wagner, Trevor Hoffman, and Dennis Eckersley. For the starting rotation, I have Tom Seaver, Bob Feller, Nolan Ryan, Ron Guidry, and Fergie Jenkins. And then we go to the lineup. We lead it off with Jose Reyes, Signature Series, followed by Chipper Jones, Omar Vizquel, and Ozzy Smith. Now, you might be wondering, why do you have four, well, three leadoff hitters back to back to back? Well, I'm doing currently... The mission which is get a hundred hits with signature series players so i want these guys to get most, most, most at bats possible so i have them at the top and i have them for right there to just get base hits get on base get me these signature series home runs or signature series hits, hits, hits and then he's a legend he's a legend he's a legend so if we hit a home run at any time with them we're also working on the legend home runs so that's perfect and then we have finest josh bell Find us just Monte Grandal. That's also working towards the missions because there is currently a mission that is to hit extra base hits with finest players. So we're working with missions all around. We're getting strikeouts, and that's also helping us out. So this is what our lineup is looking like. I wish I had the finest Cattell Marte. Now I could go out and play, but no, 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 I'm stingy with my stubs. And then on the bench, we have Eddie Murray and Chase Hetley. I wish I could have created some space for Eddie Murray in the starting lineup. But he has no secondary that actually helps us out here. Now, of course, I could sit down Josh Bell and put him out there. And I was thinking about doing that, but I'd rather have two finest hitters rather than one. So let's go ahead and get this done. Make sure you hit that like button and red subscribe button. Or, once again, you'll never hit 15,000 stars. So make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and red subscribe button, especially if you haven't already. Let's aim for 15 likes on this video. Now, as we're about to face our first opponent, Giant FSU fan, let me give you guys a little trick to actually getting a bunch of event games done instantly, basically getting 15 wins as soon as possible. This is my method to it. So what I would do is I'd enter the event, get three wins, basically go 3-0, and and then I restart the run. So I go back to 0-0. Now you might be asking, why do you do that? Well, so I can start at 1500 rating again and just catch new players that I'm just trying to beat down real quick. Restart again once I go 3-0. If I lose any game, I usually play up to four wins and then I restart again. 12-6 slurve and a changeup. We got a good swing on that. Probably good okay. Definitely could have driven it. I don't think we were late at all. Not even just late. 3-1 count now. I feel like swinging if it's a strike. I said if it was a strike, that was a strike. We're going to hit that in the gap. It looks like it's going to drop. Extra base hit. Could be a triple. It is 100% going to be a triple. We're not stopping. And hopefully we can drive this run in. 1-2 count now to Ozzie Smith. The pitch. He checks his swing. He did not go. Blue. I did not go. I did not go. That's going to do it for us. Now, the reason we don't have Josh Bell in right field, it's because if you're not home and you're not playing in ship it as he hits a home run with Josh Bell, but that is 100% deserved. We threw that pitch right down the middle. I had just told you guys he can't hit fastballs or he can't hit off-speed pitches. And look what we're serving him. Fastballs right down the pipe. We deserve to get rocked. But as I was saying, the difference between Josh Bell and Ben Zobris has to do with whether you're home or away. If you're home, you can 100% have Josh Bell playing right field, Eddie Murray playing first. But if you're away, you better put Ben Zobris out there. Because if you don't, then fielding is going to hurt you, especially if you're playing in a big stadium such as this one right here. So we got Cattell Marte, and then after Cattell Marte, we have Nolan Ryan. That pitch was crushed. I'm not sure whether or not we were even supposed to make contact with that. And he's not going to make the catch. That should be a triple with Yasmani Grandal. But with 11 speed, what should have been a triple turns out to be a double. That pitch was absolutely demolished to center field. But we're playing in one of the biggest ballparks. That one is not going to leave the stadium. 
I'm going to start off Danny Santana with an outside sinker, see what he does to it. Hopefully we don't miss the location. We missed the location and he absolutely crushes it. We're down two now. That's a little unfortunate. And then we're going to start throwing off speed pitches. So I'm not sure if you really want to count this as Rob Nunn's first hitter. Well, now you have to because the pitcher got a base hit off of Rob Nunn. So you absolutely have to count him as the first hitter to face him. Now it's Ozzie Smith. It's going to be hard to turn two. We are, are going to try to get a ground ball. We get the ground ball. I don't think he turns two, although 92 speed is a little difficult to turn two on. So it made sense. We're going to start him off with an outside fastball. He is going to be stealing. That is going to be a fly ball. So who knows if he would have had the bag. But regardless, we get ourselves two outs. I just don't think he should be falling off, especially when you're very early in terms of swing timing. Let's throw him an inside slider. And then he gets a base hit. That's what's frustrating about this game. Very early foul tip, and then they get a base hit. They continue the inning. We got to throw him a curveball here. He's actually going to try to steal with Josh Bell. That is a very questionable decision, and we gun him out at second base. Let's get some runs on the board. Good check. Slurve 12-6 changeup. 1-0 count right now. That pitch was not going to fool us. We get ourselves a double here. If he would have misplayed it, tried to dive, that would have been a triple. But now we bring up Josh Bell with a runner on second base. That's going to be ball four. So that's going to bring up Yasmani Grandal. I wasn't going to allow, my lord, another line out to end the inning. Like, we can't catch a break when we have runners on, in scoring position. Slider, but I want to catch him swinging. I want to strike him out on a slider. And we do just that. Yes, Manny Grandal has been struck out by Rob Nunn. Any pitch where I've said to myself that's going to be crushed because he missed the location. Even the pitches I don't time correctly. He's throwing it in a very good spot. Francisco Lindor now up. I'm going to start Francisco Lindor with an outside fastball. And he's going to swing. It's going to be the final out of the inning. And that was most likely Rob Nunn's final inning as well. So he must have warmed up his bullpen. We got to crush this one. Fastball right down the... Hey, hey, hey. Finally, we get a base hit on a squared up pitch. That cutter, as I said previously, I wasn't going to let it cut back inside for a strike. We got ourselves two base hits back to back. And now we have a chance to drive in some runs, do some damage. Fastball. It's going to land. I'm sending the runner home. I don't even care. I'm sending him home. He has 75 speed. He should be in there safely, and he scores. So he brought in Fergie Jenkins, and Chipper Jones hits an absolute nuke. That one's going to hit off the top of the wall. We are going to retake the lead. Now it's a 3-2 ball game. Or not retake the lead, because we never had it. 1-0 count to Omar Vizquel. That pitch hit fairly well. It's going to be a fly ball to the center fielder. We're going to third base. I think he reaches it safely. I mean, I don't know. 68 speed. He dives to the wrong side of the bag. I wanted him to dive straight. I was asking him to dive straight. 3-1 count to Josh Bell. It seems out of everybody, he's been the most careful with Josh Bell. 100%. And let's see if it was understandable. And it was. As Josh Bell hits a solo shot, that's going to give us a two-run lead. I'm surprised he didn't even want to bite at it. Change up outside. We have to dot this, though. Yes, Manny Grandal is a lefty killer. I'm trying to get rid of this guy. How about a circle change on the outside corner? Circle change outside corner. We're going to walk Yes, Manny Grandal. That's going to bring up Danny Santana. The good news about Danny Santana is he's not a righty killer. He's a lefty killer. So I'm completely fine leaving in Trevor Hoffman. Plus, we don't have any other lefty to bring into the game. Circle change to do it. Circle change has to do it here. He's not going, but he's taking those pitches, which is surprising me. I'm about to give him an inside fastball, and this could be the biggest mistake I've ever made. Let's see. It turns out not to be the biggest mistake I ever made. As he gets jammed just a bit, he flies out, and we take the W. Let's go, baby. Let's go to the next game now. So now we're going to go ahead and face the New York Bombers. He has Ron Guidry on the mound. Now, the best thing out of everything that I see right here is the fact we're home. So Rob Nen. After the first hitter, he's going to get a chance to pitch because I hate using Nolan Ryan on all-star difficulty. Sinker outside. We're going to keep Rob Nunn waiting on the bullpen. Okay, 
Now Rob Nunn is coming in because he just gave up a double. How he fouls that off, I don't know. But let's blow a heater by him. He's going to late jam, hit it the other way for a foul ball. To me, those pitches should not be hit at all. It should be strike threes. Look at that. What more can you ask for than for the pitcher to throw the ball exactly where you need him to and get those swings and misses? And then, I kid you not, I bet you he's going to either get a base hit or... Oh, never mind. He actually struck out. I thought we were about to turn a double play right here. Do you think? Give me a good splitter here. Hey, Rob Nunn came in with the runner on second base. He said, stay in the dugout and stop playing with me. I said, okay, Rob Nunn. Do your thing. Jose Reyes, let's do something. Chipper Jones should hit a home run here. Chipper Jones, that has to land. That has to. That's hitting off the wall. Should be a double. Should be a double. Good job. Let's drive him in now. We got Omar Vizquel and we got Ozzy Smith. Now he's messed up our timing a little bit. I did not mean to swing at that. That was supposed to be a check swing. Instead, of Ozzy Smith went the full way. It's impossible. We're going to start off Francisco Lindor with a splitter. I literally knocked that down myself. It's going to be an out at first base. Oh, that's fine with me. We're going to go back with another inside fastball. And he's going to square this one up. It's going to be a fly ball to the center fielder, although. So that's the only good sign right there. Right there, right there. Don't throw him the same fastball twice. He's, he's doing his thing. You can't really complain or ask for much more. He up a base hit now to John Camargo. Not sure what I want to throw. I think I'm going to go with the splitter. And hopefully Rob Nunn can dot it. He gets the strikeout regardless. That's going to be some damage, of course. Going to be a double. Should be a double, 100%. Not sure if that's Aaron Hicks out there. But if it is Aaron Hicks, I was a little scared because of the arm strength he carries with himself. And he's going to get an outside fastball. He's going to drill it to right field. Josh Bell cannot make this play. And I knew it. He couldn't make the play. I was ready to run. We're going to get a double regardless at a young dog that's going to drive in a run. And so that's an outside slider. 2-0 count now to Cattell Marte. Cattell Marte. 2 home run. Cattell Marte. Now, unfortunately, that does mean the day is now done for Rob Nunn. We got to get a base hit, though. 100% got to get a base hit right here. No questions asked. No questions asked. Instead of getting a base hit, a home run. So, did it make sense to take out Rob Nunn? Absolutely. We got a four-run lead, which is going to be around the same time Josh Bell comes up to hit. So, after Yasmani Grandal, basically. Come on, Omar Vizquel. Show off. Why did you run so fast if you were going to miss the ball regardless? Like, we're going to throw an outside fastball. Looking to dot it with Trevor Hoffman. And that pitch is going to be crushed to center field. Cattell Marte should make the grab. What in the, in the world was that? I doubt he's really going to third base. I'm ready to shoot second base. Get him to bite, but he didn't. How about an inside cutter? Not exactly where I wanted it. And he hits a three-run home run, cutting the deficit down to one. So that's on us right there. We're going to have to bring in a lefty now. Unless we hit around. If we hit around, then obviously... Come on now, Billy. Out of everyone, I had the most faith in you. You give up a solo shot instantly. Let's go. Slider, curveball, changeup. Gotta get a base hit here. And that one is crushed. Should be in the gap. Should be minimum a double. Hopefully it doesn't bounce over the gap or bounce over the wall. I said the gap. What is wrong with me? That's gonna be a double. Now, I did try to pull that, and you can tell by the PCI. That's going to be a pitch that I'm 100% looking to pull. 100% drove it, and that's actually leaving the stadium. That was literally the definition of a wall scraper. Bring up Chase Hetley. That pitch was absolutely obliterated. So, Cattell Marte didn't even need to get on base because he hits a solo shot regardless. 1-1 one, one count, up by 3. That pitch was hung. You can't hang a pitch twice. You hung it the first time we crushed it. You hang it again. We're going to crush it again. It only makes sense. He pauses. Is he going to quit out? It's 8-4. to four. I am not accepting a friendly right here. He quit out. out. So if you did end up enjoying today's content, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button, red subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all social medias at BladeMiss. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive. Stay blessed. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.